he is articulating the anger, the rage, the wanting to break out of what we've been stuck in, and that got him a lot of sympathy because the alternatives, there was one real one, and that was Bernie. And when Mrs. Clinton repressed that, sort of like when Obama repressed Occupy, you took away the opportunity for the American dissatisfaction to go in a left direction, so it went in the other direction that was available. Mostly not black dissatisfaction. Exactly, no. and, and that's exactly what I was thinking when you talk about you know, capitalism more recently having failed the population, when you talk about the we that is dissatisfied, for us capitalism has never worked. You know, we were the original commodity, right, in the United States when you look at the legacy of slavery. And then when you look at women in general, we were the original commodity worldwide. You know, in terms of the beginning, the, 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 the birth of capitalism was really on the backs and on the ownership of women's bodies. And then that became more and more a, a massing of, of, of property. But talking about um, this election in particular, I think that black folks, we're in a, in a place where they felt that even with the mistakes of the Obama administration, even with uh, a Hillary Clinton presidency, right? And you talked about Bernie, that was the hope, right? That we would have Bernie and there would be a, uh, a more of a socialist sort of, you know, um, system put in place. But we've never been confident. We've never been satisfied. We've never received historically we have never received our just dues, you know? We can talk about reparations. We can talk about, you know, access to mm -hmm. education and to jobs. We can talk about affirmative action. None of these things have done for black people what we hope that they do.